pencil, drumstick, number one, bib squeak. I've been called all kinds of degrading names. These are just words. What I really, really went through inside was hell. That same depressing feeling of inadequacy. That constant unrelenting feeling that people were always laughing. My skinny, girly, pathetic arms. My poor, bony ribs. My kid-sized t-shirts. My baby face. My friends constantly teasing me was one thing. But when girls hot girls openly ridiculed me for my puny size it made me very angry feel pathetic less of man it wasn't like i was trying butter cheese pizzas oil 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 i tried to stuff myself with all kinds of fattening foods but my skinny body remained stubborn as ever why can't i just have some mass a little fullness some thickness so i wouldn't feel so inadequate so my freaking backbone wouldn't poke the damn bed and hurt me when i sleep so i could look a little more mature adult like an actual grown man which i was then one day something happened i accidentally stumbled upon these incredible 90 day skinny dripped web transformation almost everybody's before picture looked exactly like me i couldn't believe it what a fool i'd been i thought wasting my time with all these stupid fattening foods and the answer was right in front of me i finally got really excited all you really needed was a pair of dumbbells the site said so i bought a pair of 2 and 1/2 kilo dumbbells announced to my best friend that within 3 months all the hottest girls would be crushing on me he laughed but after about a month i got bored of the light dumbbells and decided to go to an actual gym fancy commercial gym the trainer was like 3 times my size promised he'd take me from 45 to 65 kilos in just 4 months i was overjoyed after 6 months of following their exact workout and diet program doing everything he said i look like nothing still those skinny bony arms still that narrow shoulders and hollow chest still those back bones jutting out and poking me when i slept or when anyone slapped me on my back still those skinny pathetic sissy girly arms sticking out my loose extra small t-shirt my friend calls me who where is the new muscular akshay it's been more than 3 months why haven't you updated your profile yet and where are all the hot girls in your room now wait another 4 months you are so less said and i'll show you now i decided to upgrade go to the big beefy american online guru whey protein creatine pump out mass building exercises because i was an ectomorph 2 gram per pound of protein for 97 dollar for 97 mass building programs after one year till nothing still those skinny arms still that hollow chest still those narrow shoulders still that baby face i didn't get it i was doing everything these big muscular online gurus were telling me eating big lifting big taking all the right supplements buying and following all the best programs where was my 90 day skinny to rip transformation why was i still struggling my pesky friend called up again dude it's been more than a year why would you change the profile pic yet and what about the hot girls just wait another four months we did it dude this time he's like you know what very soon one day you're going to be like fuck i need to some ugly ass girl having little children these kids are going to point and laugh at you then why because they already fill out bigger t-shirts than you and you're going to be like kids just wait another four months and i'll show you the bastard But seriously what if he was right what if i never ever transform i mean was this lifestyle really worth it i'd stop hanging out with my friends was eating all the freaking time and when i wasn't eating i was downing weight gain as like crazy protein gas pain soreness zero mass this was my life it's getting freaking irritating i was about to give up and one day i read something something that made me very very Show me what a big fool I'd be. Scientific proof that these big, beefy Americans I was copying really had no clue how to build muscle. They could build muscle no matter what nonsense they did in the gym. It just came naturally to them. And me copying their workouts was like learning how to do a slam dunk from a seven feet six inch guy. I had to stop listening to them. They were genetically blessed. I was not. And to stop buying their idiotic programs, finally threw away all the bullshit supplements. Stopped stuffing myself. Stopped eating big or lifting big. I decided to play by a different set of rules. I realized that for me it was not about heavy compound exercises, but actually hitting the muscles. Not about hour-long boring bodybuilding workouts, but 20-minute intense hormone-generating workout. And soon things finally started to change, slowly at first, and then in a frigging rush. Here goes. 